Okay, assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. This is Ms. Linda. We'll continue today with the IB uh, past uh, paper uh, questions. Uh, here we have a theme of uh, coherent monochromatic light. Uh, monochromatic, it means one color. Um, red, uh, green, uh, purple, any color, just only one. From a distance galaxy. Galaxy is group of uh, stars. Is used in optic experiment on Earth. The beam is incident normally on a double slit. And the distance between the slits is 0.3 millimeter. So this is the small distance D. This distance D is 0.3 millimeter. The screen is at distance D capital from the slits. The diffraction angle is labeled. This is the angle of diffraction. So here we will have bright fringes and then dark where we have destructive interference and then bright again, dark, etc. Bright fringes when we have constructive interference. The distance between the center of two bright, this is S. Now, here we have the question A. A series of dark and bright fringes appears on the screen. Explain how dark fringes is formed. Dark fringes is because we have destructive interference when when the wave interfere meet and they cancel each other out. So if you have two wave meet, like a crest meets with the trough, they cancel each other out. So the phase difference between them is pi or multiple number of pi. Or the path difference between them is half odd multiple of lambda which means lambda over 2, 3 lambda over 3, 2, 1.5, 1, 1 5 lambda over 2, 2.5, etc. So the path difference, it's either pi or multiple number of pi or n plus half times lambda, and this is destructive interference. Destructive interference. OK, B, the wavelength of the beam as observed on Earth, lambda is 633 nanometer. The separation between the dark fringe, the dark and bright fringes on the screen is 4.5 millimeter. Now we know the distance between uh, the center of two bright S. So this number represents half S. So half F is 4.5 millimeter because S is the distance between two bright. So bright and dark, this will represent half the total distance, half S, half S. So half S is 4.5. That means S will be 9 millimeter times 10 to the power negative 3 meter. Now the question calculate D. D is the distance between the slit, the two slits, and the screen. Now the formula for double slit Lambda over small d will equal s over capital D. I need d, so we're going to do cross multiplication and flip. So d will equal s times d, s times d divided by lambda. s is 9 times 10 to the power negative 3. 
small d is 0.3 millimeter, 0.3 times 10 to the power negative 3 divided by lambda 633 nano, 10 to the power negative 9. And you should get 4.27 times 10 to the power negative 3 meter or 4.27 millimeter. OK, see. The air between the slits. And the screen is replaced with water. The refractive index of water is one point. So this is M. 1.33. Calculate the wavelength of the light in water. So first medium here we have air. Second medium is water. This is the first medium. This is the second medium. So I'm going to use Snell's law. If you remember Snell's law, sine, sine, theta two over sine theta one will equal v two velocity in the second medium divided by velocity in the first medium. And that will give us lambda, the wavelength in the second medium divided by lambda one in the first medium, and this is equal to N1, the index of refraction, the first medium divided by the index of refraction in the second medium. So since we have lambda and index of refraction, so I'm going to use this formula, lambda 2 over lambda 1 equals N1 over N2, and then substitute. Lambda 2, we don't have it. Lambda 1 is 633 nanometer. Nanometer will equal N1. Air is 1. Divided by N2, water is 1.33. Cross multiplication. So lambda 2 will equal 633 nanometer times 10 to the power negative 9 divided by 1.33 and this will give us 476 nanometer 476 nanometer okay now same question okay but for the high level the high level they usually have uh, the same uh, question but uh, with the, the extra extra listen they they study so they had this question same similar but this is the extra thing that they've studied in high level the student is studying high level so here we have calculate here you have a graph of variation of intensity with diffraction angle so here we have an intensity versus the diffraction angle. Calculate the angular separation between the central peak, this one, central peak here, and the missing peak, peak in the double slit here, this, the missing peak. I need this angle theta, how much? Okay. State your answer to an appropriate number of significant figure. If you remember the formula for multiple slits, sign the angle theta will equal n. N tell, tells us how many constructive interference um, are we away from the central maximum. So here this is central maximum, n equals zero. This one, n equals zero. Here we have one, two, three, four. So N equals four. Lambda divided by B. OK. Now, B is distance between two slits. N is four. Lambda 633 nanometer, 633 times 10 to the power negative 9 divided by the distance 
between two slits, which was 0.3 millimeter, millimeter times 10 to the power, negative three. And this will equal 8.4 times 10, 10 to the power negative three. The final answer, if you if you calculate this one theta at the end, you have to find sine theta, take the inverse for both sides, and then you find theta and radian. Okay. Now, uh, next, deduce in millimeter the width of one slit. The width of one slit. Now I have theta. Theta is lambda. Lambda over B. If I need B, B to swap is lambda over the angle theta. Lambda is 633 nanometer times 10 to the power negative 9 divided by the angle theta 8.44 times 10 to the power negative 3. And you should get 7.5 times 10 to the power negative 5 meter. Next, you have the wavelength of light in the beam when emitted by the galaxy was 621.4 nanometers. So lambda emitted Lambda emitted is 621.4 nanometer, nanometer. Okay. Lambda observed, lambda observed is 633 nanometer. So you notice here I have increased in lambda, 621, it became 633. So here I have increase in the wavelength. Increase in the wavelength, that means we will have red shift, red shift the galaxy, it's moving away. So. The galaxy is moving, is moving away from Earth, away from Earth. Always, if you have the difference between red and blue, is lambda. Lambda for red always greater than lambda for the blue. So if lambda increase, that means it shift toward, I have red shift, that means the galaxy is moving away from us. 